<laughs> yeah, they're out of their fucking mind right here, but you see where I'm what I'm getting at, don't you? Same figure, it's an old figure. Look at the price. These prices, it's like I think the lowest we've seen is 60 something, 69. The highest we've seen is 399 because it's, it's, it's not really a rare figure like some of you like to, to believe. This here, even though it's from Hong Kong, this might actually be a legit figure. It might be a legit uh, sale. Just look at that. And then look over here. 20 bucks. We'll click on it. Let's see how many they sold. You see it's coming from China. Look at that, Figma 2.0. Look at look at all these. This is a freaking statue. Twelve fifty. Look at this. Seven sixteen. Are you kidding me? Twenty two seventy eight. Nine fifty. Are you kidding me? And then, like I told you, the image that you're seeing is the bootleg, I mean, is the official figure. All these pictures here, see it even says Figma on there. Look at it, it says Figma, but what you're gonna get will not have Figma on there. I'm telling you, just don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. And I say this bullshit, seven to 15 business days, and then it'll say it won't have a, tra a tracking number. This is if you do uh, China Post to the USA. But then they say we use China Post shipping the item and offer not having a tracking number, and that will take 20 to 25 business days. What you should expect is for it to take over the 20 to 25 business days. Because these motherfuckers are straight up lying to you. 100%. I've dealt with it. I'm telling you so you don't have to avoid, you don't have to deal with it. I mean, look at these prices. Aren't they too good to be true? Look at this. The Lily version of uh, Saber. Come on. China version. Why is it $14.99? And that's an old, rare figure. It came in uh, some kind of boxed set or something. Come on, guys. Hatsune Miko, Miku. I know so many people who love this character. $18.99. Let's be real. Let's be real, guys. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Figma. Hatsune Miku. Look at that. From China. Bootleg. 35 or best offer. That makes sense. Remember what I told you? The low end? 35 bucks. Let's get to where it's real. $60. Bootleg. It's 22 and it's from China. 19 from China. Nine, 973. Like, come on. 56? This is legit. China. Legit. China. Look at how many bootlegs of her are up there because she's in such high demand, they know they're going to sell these. China. God, she's mostly been bootlegged. That's crazy. Don't fall for it. I'm telling you guys, don't fall for it. Look at these price. She's been bootleg like a motherfucker. My God. 38 90, 98 This is definitely a bootleg. Because it's still under the $40. It could be. There's a chance. But it's from China. So more than likely, it's not. And that's the sad part. The factories are in China, but the uh, the actual distributors are in Japan. Well, they're in several different places. But see, these are official. See, this is from Japan. It's probably the real deal. Now, not to say that no one in Japan is going to try to get over on you, but typically they're not the ones doing that. All the product is shipped there, so there's, there's it's really hard. Look at that. Black Rock Shooter from Figma. Oh, no, that's not Figma. Where is it? 
Oh, it's a statue. Pretty bad. Let's try something else. Figma. See how much she costs, right? Let's try doing the China version of her. Well, they don't have one. Not yet. Okay, cool. Let's try... Um, Let's see what the prices are supposed to be so I can show you. So, wow, look at that. The first thing that comes up, 623 sold. It's a bootleg. This is why it's got that price. It's supposed to be in the 60s. Remember what I was telling you about the two for under 40 bucks? Look at that shit. From China. From China. Don't be fooled. Look at that. China version, 1581. You think this is going to stand up to basic play? This version. I haven't seen bootlegs of it yet. But 72 bucks. I think it's expensive, but... You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you guys. Don't know what to tell you. These are the prices. And you see this is in Japan and it's a auction. So 36 might be the starting bid, opening bid, but you have time and it'll go up. 33 for two of them from China, this is the buy it now price. Buy it now, thirty-three seventy-seven. Don't be fucking fooled. You know, I try to tell you guys because I know what I'm talking about. You guys argue with me. You guys think that I'm bullshitting, but this is the way it is. You look at these prices. You want to add ten dollars shipping? I'm telling you. Where's this coming out of? Japan or China? Well, this is from the US. This might be legit. Might be legit. So anyway, you see what I'm talking about. You see what you have to work with. There's a very big difference. So, <clears throat> initially, I gave you guys some pointers. I showed you guys uh, examples <clears throat> with my own personal, um, you know, situation when it came to uh, dealing with uh, bootlegs. And it seemed like a lot of what I was saying was being meant or met, I'm sorry, with some kind of uh, resistance, you know? Even with the facts being on display 
in the video. The point of the video wasn't to knock bootlegs all the way because the point of the video was that you can, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can still salvage a possible bootleg. Um, and I gave you examples of what you could do to do, you know, to salvage that, how you would go about salvaging your bootleg figure if indeed you ended up buying one. The thing that I'm trying to point out to people that I hate, uh, uh, you know, I hate even having to do this, but it's the fact that I gave you factual information. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm telling you the honest to goodness truth. I'm showing you proof that it is what it is, and it is how I'm telling you it is. And I'm still being met with resistance, and that's fine. The point of this video isn't for uh, me to uh, give you guys some kind of conspiracy theory. This is just truth. Now, for those of you who you understand where I was coming from, um, thank you. For those of you who are looking for certain figures and they happen to be too expensive, because, I mean, let's be honest, some of these figures are ridiculous in, uh, in the price department, and for no reason. Some of them, Figmas, don't tend to show back up after they've run their course unless somebody is selling them on the secondary market. But sometimes, every now and then, they do show up again on the secondary market. When that happens, the price should go down. The problem with the secondary market is that it rarely ever does. It's always, it goes up, 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 until the bootlegs show up. Then the bootlegs will have the varying prices. And it's hard to, for a lot of people to you know, discern which one is actually a bootleg and which one is the real deal. So this is not me making up my version of how this works. This is me telling you exactly how this works. This is what it is. Um, if you don't want to believe me, then fine. Don't believe me. Don't listen to me. Ignore me. This video is not for you. If you do want to, um, you know, get some insight as to how this works, then listen to what I'm saying. Because what I'm trying to tell you is the honest to goodness truth. You know, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you guys because a lot of you want to argue indefinitely. You know what I mean? You just want to argue for the sake of arguing. I don't. <clears throat> I'm not even going to lie with you. I just don't. I don't have. That's not fun for me. It gets boring, it gets annoying, it starts to get on my nerves after a while because it feels as though uh, I'm being, it's not that it feels as though, I am being second-guessed. And I really don't like that, you know? The whole point of me uh, taking it upon myself to make these videos is to help. If you don't want the help, you don't want the help, move on. But don't jump on here to try and discredit what I'm saying without actually you know, going through it without researching, without even taking into account the factual information that I am giving to you. Because I am giving you facts. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, that's all on you. But I'm giving you factual information. You know? So, uh, you know, this stuff is what it is. I'm telling you, this is how it is. Um, a lot of these things too, I've had the, the, the misfortune or the fortune of dealing with them on a personal level and that helps me, you know, explain to you what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Like that really helps me. It puts me in a position to be somewhat more of an expert for some of you because I know exactly what I'm talking about from experience. And I mean, there's it, nothing wrong with, with this. You know, I look at a lot of other people who did videos on this same subject. And if you do the research, like I said, and you look at some of these other vi videos, you will see that they say a lot of the same things I'm saying because they've had similar experience. Low prices are the dead giveaway, especially in something that was either hard to find or rare or, you know, a, 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 a true collector's item in the sense that it was only made in a very small number. You got to look at that because a lot of times that's the giveaway. Like the uh, Lily, uh, 
the 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 Lily version of uh, Saber. Dead fucking giveaway. Dead giveaway. It's it, when you see that for cheap, that is a rare figure. That came with a box set of one of the Fate. I think it was like a light novel and game uh, pack. Those are are. Uh, it's an extremely rare set. So don't sit there and, and, and act like, don't pretend like I'm not giving you factual information. Don't pretend like this doesn't exist. Figure arts, if you look at figure arts, you will notice that the figure arts tend to go up in price and they keep going up in price unless you come across a seller that wants to give you this stuff for, they wanna sell their stuff for cheaper. And this just is the way it is, you know what I mean? I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, be, be make things difficult for you. You know, and I keep repeating myself because there's there's no other way for me to say it, you know? I just, I really was annoyed with some of the backlash that I got from explaining to you guys what goes on with, with fucking bootlegs, you know? So, you know, I'm trying not to, I hope this isn't too harsh. I hope this makes sense. I hope you uh, get where I'm coming from and you understand that this just is the way it is. You know, nothing, nothing, uh, no offense to anyone, nothing against folks. It's just, this is how it is. And I'm doing my best to give you that information exactly the way it is. So, um, yeah, as usual, this is my story and I'm sticking to it. If you like what I'm saying, if you agree with what I'm saying, I guess it's not a matter of liking, but it's a matter of if you understand me, cool. If you don't, um, ask questions. I, I don't have any problem explaining in great detail to you what it is that's going on. Ask questions. I'll tell you the answer to those questions with no problem. Um, if what I've told you doesn't make any sense, Let's continue talking about it. I will explain it in a way that will eventually make sense to you. If you need more proof, just go on eBay and do what I just did in the video, and it will totally work for you. So anyway, like I said, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm Strident. That's it for me. You guys have been great. Peace outside.